Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome you to a video which I will be showing you all of my London cars and trucks. Now, these are my grandfather's trucks, as you know, uh, or probably don't know. I had these since I was young, uh, like a little, as, I had these since I was a young kid, and I inherited these when he, my, he passed away, when I was only just a baby, or maybe when I was two. Anyways, so yeah, these are all the London, England trucks. They were made in England, of course, and the first truck I'm going to show you is the Heinz Ketchup truck. Now, this truck is pretty much a classic truck. They're all classics, obviously, and um, it's a pretty cool truck. It's a ketchup truck with a number 57 on it. Only thing wrong with it is it's missing a roof, but it is in great condition. Um, it's got nice detailing inside. And as you can tell, since these were made in England, their steering wheels are on the opposite side. Instead of like the left side, they're on the right side. So yeah, that's what's cool about it. And it's got this nice like front on it, nice lights. It's a very nice car. It's got like two double wheels in the back, and it's got like two wheels in the back, but they're connected to each other, and then just one single one on here. So yeah. And this is actually my favorite truck in in this pile. This is my favorite. So yeah, it's a very good design. So I'm just gonna set it aside over here. And I'll show you my next truck now. This one is just like my other truck, but this is actually a airport truck. Only thing it's missing is this roof with those plastic bottles on it or something. I don't know what they're called, but and it does have um, nice detailing. It's it's kind of like that truck. It has like two wheels in the back, but one out here. It's kind of like this one, but it is a classic one. It's a nice truck. It's this Croydon Airport. Shell mix BP, so I'm guessing this is a gas truck maybe for like the airplane or something, but Overall it is a very good model even though it's missing on it. It's in great condition So that's what's cool about us. So I'll set this one aside too. I'm gonna start setting these aside So anyways, if you're wondering why there's trucks in the back I couldn't like I was originally gonna set them straight like all together But unfortunately my camera cannot catch all of them. So that's why I had to put them in the back. So anyways this next one is a British Oxygen Company truck. So yeah. And of course it has two wheels in the one wheel in the front, like on the side, and two wheels like connected in the back. Just like those other two trucks that I showed you. Um and it has oxygen tanks in the truck, which is cool. And they're black, obviously. And um it's got it's the only thing it's missing is a steering wheel, and it's missing this part, but it is in great, but overall it's in good condition and it's a good model. Let's set this aside. My next truck is this, which is a Yorkshire T truck, Taylors of Harquay. And it was made in 1886, I'm guessing. And of course on the back it says, I don't know if you can see it, made in England. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it is a good model. Uh, second, only thing wrong with it is that the I don't know if you can see it or not, but may, but if I like let me just move my camera down. If I move it, um, the wheels kind of spin awkwardly. Um, only thing wrong with it is that the rim is a little bit shot, but it still like moves perfectly. But overall, it is in great condition and it's a orange truck and it's nice. It's got a nice black roof on the top. So I'm going to send this one going. And now this next truck, I have to move it by the back wheels because there's something wrong with it. It is missing its front wheel, so that's why I have to kind of do it like this. It kind of looks awkward. I do that, but anyways. And it's missing this front bumper. This one has it. Oops, sorry about that. And it does have a steering wheel. It's a green truck. It says Brompton Road, London. So it's basically like a road truck. So yeah, um, it's missing these two wheels, but it is in good condition overall. Like most of these I have in, are in good. Most of these I have are in good condition. Except this one's just missing like the front wheel. So yeah. So I'm not going to like try doing this. So I'm just going to set it aside over there because I can't move it fully. And this next truck is is a liner truck, which is the Express, Express Parcel Delivery Truck. It's a blue truck. 
It says FB and it says the number 2133. Um, the only thing wrong with this one is that the rims are a little shot. Well, this one's a little bit, sh it's a little chipped, I would say, but it's not completely damaged, but it is in excellent condition, so that's a good thing. This is a nice truck I have. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good one, so I'm gonna roll it along here. Now, this one is, um, a Harrods LTD Knightsbridge truck. It's a toy fair. No, open. I think it says it. The... It's in good condition. Well, I, I don't know if it's in good condition, I would say, because these two rims are shot, and then these two are busted. So, yeah, the wheels are not in good condition. The model's in good condition, though, but the wheels are not in good condition. So, I can't really move this, so I'm just going to set it aside over here. And this next truck we'll look at is a Carlsberg truck. And um, it's a pretty good... It's in very good condition, and it has, like, um, I think it has all these wheels. Yeah, it has all the wheels. It's in very good condition. It's a good thing about this. And what's kind of funny is it's got these two holes in the back doors, kind of like this one does. But my other ones just have, like, flat doors. So, like, the previous ones show, like, yeah. These four just all have back doors. These two have none. So, yeah. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is this um, Overseas Removal Truck by Michael Gerson. And um, it's a very good truck. And just like my other three trucks that I showed first, it has like two wheels connected to the back and one single wheel in the front. And it is a green truck, obviously. It's got nice detailing. Same thing in the back. Nothing special. But it is in great condition, so yeah, these are all class trucks. I'm going to move this aside, and then I have a truck that is the same design as this. This next truck is the same design. It is a dairy farm bakery truck. It's the same design as that overseas truck. And just like that truck, it's got two wheels connected in the back and one single wheel. And it is in good condition. It's the same design, so just it's a good model, so I'm moving aside. And this truck is a dairy farm truck. But it's missing the two mirrors. It's missing this front motor or bumper, should I say. And it's missing the roof and it's missing the steering wheel. So it's missing a couple things. But overall, it is in good condition. It's got this little holes in the back, obviously. Nothing special there. So I'm going to move this aside. And this next truck I have here is a Royal National Lifeboat Institution truck. And it has two full-size spare tires. I couldn't really, like, just in case, like, this one breaks off, I can just take these off so yeah it's got two full-size spare tires that's what's cool about this truck that's why i like this truck and i believe it's the only one in my london truck this it's not really the only one in in my london truck that is full-size spare tires i have another one which i will show you in a little bit so yeah it's got a curved roof on the top so yeah and of course just like the other trucks i showed previously all four wheels so i'm just gonna Send this one. And this next truck, well, I wouldn't really call it a truck. It is a horse carriage. It's a Harrods Brookton um, Limited Brompton Road. It's a horse carriage. So, yeah, it's got a horse in the front, which is cool. And it's pulling a carriage, which can actually carry people right there. And it's got these two holes in the back. It's cool. And got green wheels. And it's pretty good condition. Well, I can't really move it like correctly because the horse is in the way, but so, but I think it can move. Let me see. No, I actually can't. So, but it is a good design and it's in good condition. So I'm going to move it, set it aside since I can't move it fully. And I'll show you my next one. Well, this one is not actually a truck. It is a double decker bus. So yeah, it's a London transport double decker bus, which is a Harrods Barton Road. It's got two wheels in the front and it has four wheels in the back which is kind of convenient and it's got nice detailing inside it's got like one row of seats right here and then there's stairs up there and when you go up there it's got another like row of seats so that's why they call it a double decker bus and this is actually my favorite double decker bus i have three other double decker buses in my collection but this one is my favorite out of them so i'm just gonna move it aside and um this last one i have to show you is not a car or truck it's not a truck. It is a car. 
Well, it's actually a taxi, which unfortunately I cannot move it correctly. Um, the it's not really in good condition. It's a taxi. It is a London taxi and a class taxi. It's not really in good condition because it's missing two of its front wheels. It has its back wheels, but it has its back wheels though. But this is the uh, and what's but what's cool about this is just like that. Just like that other truck I showed you, this one has a full-size spare tire in the back. That's what's cool about it. So, yeah, it only has its back wheels. It's missing both the front wheels. If I can manage to get this off, I don't know if I can. I can put it in the front. And up here, it's it's kind of chipped. These two parts chipped off up there. So, yeah, but it is a good model. It's just missing its front wheels. And it's got this little thing here, which is kind of... I don't know if it's pointless or not, but I guess it's where the passage is. So, I'm just going to set this aside because I can't move it correctly. And where did all my London cars and trucks and other things go? Well, I'm going to move my camera. They are all over here, all spread out. Which I'm going to lift my camera up just so I can get all of them. They're all spread out because I just showed all of them. So, yeah. So, we went from a full space to an empty space. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.